Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. Guys, in this video, I will be discussing today's LNT interview experience. Guys, this interview happened today only. That is on 7th August 2022. The interviews are still going on. So guys, make sure that you watch this video to the end and do not skip skip any of the questions which are discussed in this video. Okay, guys. Previously also, I have made many interview experiences video on my channel as well as I have also made videos on the questions, specifically technical questions which are asked in companies hiring. So all those videos you can find under this channel in this channel. The link of this channel I will give you in the i button or in the description box. Make sure to visit it for more such videos. Okay, and guys, if you want to, uh, if you want my me to make more such interview experiences, please like this video and comment down and also hit the subscribe button. Okay, so guys, now let's start this video and before starting the video, please hit the like button. Okay, so guys, the date of the interview was 7th August 2022, that is today only. The branch of my friend was CS. The duration of the entire interview was 20 minutes. Okay, the first question that was asked from him was introduce yourself. And guys, if you have given interviews for different companies, you might know that this is the first question that is asked in any interview. And this is very important question as per the interview is concerned. You can, uh, you can include your projects, your internship, your extracurricular activities, the skills you have, that you have developed in your college or any other, in any other domain. So all these things you can mention uh, about yourself in this particular question and the interview will be satisfied with the answer. But make sure that you do a bit, you speak, uh, you speak only those things in which you are confident in. It is not necessary that all these things, uh, it is not necessary to uh, say lie in these particular questions because they are very important. Okay, so I hope you know, this, question, this question is clear to you. Uh, next question is explain your final year project. Again guys, it is this, again it is very uh, much important question for the interview. See. Why this is important? See how uh, if an interview is taking your interview, the interview is uh, the interview duration is generally of 20 to 25 minutes. Then how can an interview test your uh, skills? That uh, but uh, what are your skills? So it is not possible to ask many questions in an interview. So what they do? They generally ask for your projects. By projects they know that yes you have worked on this particular technology and yes you know how to how these components work. So prepare your projects very well because there can be questions from your project and they will be really uh, you can say a deal breaker for you in the interviews if you are able to answer the question related to your project this will satisfy the interviewer that yes you have worked on this project in real life okay now if you want to know that how you will have to explain your final year project in the interview i have made a separate video on this channel i will give you the video link in the i button as well as in the description box make sure to visit it and learn about this how to explain project to the interviewer in the interview okay uh, next question is what are the difficulties you face during projects? So again, guys, many of the things occur while you are doing the project. If you are doing a large project, then yes, there will be difficulties that you will be facing. Now, let's just suppose if you are doing the machine learning project. So in the machine learning project, the data is generally large. So you can say that uh, collecting the data or, uh, or uh, cleaning the data was major difficulty that you face in the project. And also tell the interviewer that how you overcome, overcame dot, uh, that <laughs> difficulty. Okay, so I hope. This question is clear to you. Now moving to the next question. <clears throat> next question is what is exception? Okay. In Java, an exception is an event that disrupts the normal flow of the program. It is an object which is thrown at runtime. So we all know that it is not possible to divide any number by zero. So it is if in the program we are trying to divide a number by zero, then it will give you the exception. It will give you uh, arithmetic ex uh, exception that division by zero is not possible. Another exception is that you are trying to access a memory access and memory which is null so then you it will give you null pointer exception so all these are type of exception and they just disrupts the normal flow of the program so i hope now this uh, this definition is clear to you next question is what is normalization so again normalization is the pro process of organizing data into database this includes creating tables and establishing relationship between those tables according to the rules designed both to protect the data and make the database more flexible okay so see in large databases like in large companies databases there are many tables which are made okay now each table is connected to different table so this is done to maintain the consistency of the data as well as to remove the redundant elements from the data so this is what normalization do it just <coughs> creates a relationship among different tables okay so i hope now this particular question is also clear to you next question is what is the difference between array and linked list so we all know what are arrays see arrays are uh, stored in contiguous location that is if a uh, element is stored at 0th index the next element will be on the first index and then next element will be on the second index but in linked list it is opposite the elements are stored uh, it are, they are not stored in the contiguous location they are st stored in the separate memory locations uh, 
so i hope this uh, this defense is clear to you that is if there are n elements in the array all of them will be positioned in the uh, contiguous manner whereas in linked list if there are n elements then there, those n elements will be placed in different memory locations in the uh, memory so i hope this this thing is also uh, this difference is clear to you uh, next difference is fig, uh, fixed in size so array we cannot increase the size of the array at one time but linked list we can increase the size of a linked list in the uh by at the run time okay so these are the major two differences between arrays and linked list so i hope this question is also clear to you the last one of this interview was what is indexing so again that indexing is the term that is used in the databases and indexing is done so that we can uh, retrieve the data very uh, fastly as compared to uh, fast approaches so if you all uh, want to know in uh, detail about indexing then i will give you the link in the description box but in uh, general indexing is done to uh, make the access time for for the data from database uh, fast okay so i hope all these questions are clear to you and if you want to know if you want more such interface videos then do comment down that yes you want these videos and please like the video and subscribe this channel and do share this video among your friends which are having interviews in coming days so guys thank you for watching this video